Public Safety Department says finding the sniper responsible for those 10 freeway shootings in two weeks is job one. But the truth is, officials have very little to go on. Jim Murray teams up with one of the Army's former top marksmen to go on the trail of a sniper. A legendary former Delta Force sniper is speaking to Inside Edition about the freeway shootings terrorizing the city of Phoenix. I don't think the firing is taking place from the sides of the freeway. And his theory may surprise you. What I really believe is happening is that it's someone firing from a vehicle on the interstate. Eric Haney is a retired sergeant in the U.S. Army's elite special forces. Haney also investigated the notorious 2002 D.C. sniper case that left 10 people People dead but he believes Phoenix is completely different since so far no one has been seriously hurt I believe it's someone playing out some sort of a, a fantasy a juvenile mental game he told me the shootings of 11 different vehicles along interstate 10 were most likely done with a small caliber handgun due to the size of the bullet holes he also believes there may be more than one shooter involved. We believe there are two, one driving, one shooting. Someone sits in the back seat, drops the window, and fires a shot. The shootings over the last two weeks have prompted over 850 tips to authorities, but the investigation continues, and motorists are understandably on edge. In profiling the Phoenix sniper, experts believe he's an immature thrill seeker in his teens or early 20s, is knowledgeable about the I-10 highway, and attacks in the early Early morning, never during the afternoon, so he may be at school or work. He believes these individuals will be caught. Oh, yeah. The weekend, cops in Arizona did arrest three teens in what is believed to be a copycat attack, according to police. They were using stones and a slingshot to shoot at pedestrians and cars.